you're watching the news from Bahrain International, a very good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations and good wishes to U.S. President Donald Trump on his country's Independence Day, wishing the friendly U.S. people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty commended the increasingly growing amicable relations between the two countries and people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace members of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industries Board of Directors, led by Chairman of the Board of Directors Khalid Mu'ayyad who delivered the BCCI's annual report for the year 2016 to His Majesty the King. His Majesty expressed pride in the role of the BCCI in serving the commercial and industrial march in the kingdom and enhancing the status of the kingdom regionally and internationally. He affirmed that the BCCI plays a vital role in strengthening the business march at Bahrain thanks to the efforts of the private sector in supporting the development process of the country as well as enhancing the economic capabilities and competitiveness on international levels. His Majesty affirmed his support to the commercial and economic sectors and called to continue their efforts in enhancing the pioneering role of Bahrain's economy that was able to achieve a positive reputation on the regional and international levels through attracting different investment projects and financial institutions. He praised the role of Bahraini business figures who were dedicated in serving in this field and taking the path of their ancestors in order to further develop it. His Majesty thanked the audience and wished them success in continuing the progress and development process. The traders expressed support for the measures taken by the Kingdom to maintain regional and, and rather national security and stability and to maintain the unity of the GCC. They expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's wise directives and for his continued support for the commercial and economic sectors, praising his keenness to enhance the role of the private sector in the process of economic development in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations and good wishes to U.S. President Donald Trump on his country's Independence Day, wishing the friendly American people more progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness also sent a similar congratulatory cable to U.S. Vice President Mike Pence on this national occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Qudaybiyah Palace members of the royal family and a number of officials. His Royal Highness discussed with them issues of internal and external affairs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister emphasized the importance of preserving the cultural and historical heritage of Bahrain, as well as to benefit from it as a guide for future generations, establishing the originality of Bahrain and its ancient civilization. He stressed on upholding Bahraini customs and traditions and deepening them in the hearts of young people to enhance the values of loyalty and belonging in them for the aim of motivating them to contribute to the prosperity of the kingdom. He also underscored that Bahrain is witnessing a development movement in various areas through the implementation of many projects in the sectors of housing, health, education, infrastructure and others, as the government is keen on carrying out the implementation process with the highest levels of quality that meet the aspirations of citizens. His Royal Highness held the positive cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities for their role in fulfilling the citizens' aspirations. He affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is on the right path to establish the foundations of a modern and comprehensive renaissance in various fields built by its people who are the basis of its prosperity and development.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received Al Ghadabiyah Palace today, the senior UK advisor of Middle East Affairs, General Thomas Beckett. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the importance of joint efforts and coordination in reinforcing the peace and stability of the region and to confront all attempts to interfere in its internal affairs. His Royal Highness affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to develop military cooperation with the UK, which continues to grow in the bilateral and international levels to preserve security and combat terrorism. He highlighted the historic deep-rooted relation between Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which contribute to introducing new fields of cooperation between the two friendly kingdoms, including the military and defense. His Royal Highness the Premier reviewed with the senior UK advisor the latest regional and international developments and affirmed the importance of international cooperation to stop certain policies that aim at interfering in the region's internal affairs to destabilize its security. He also highlighted the role of the UK and other respective countries in reinforcing the region's stability and confronting terrorism. For his part, the senior UK advisor noted the strong Bahraini-British relations and affirmed his country's keenness to exert more efforts to develop cooperation in all fields. He also noted the role of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in enhancing military cooperation between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations and good health wishes to U.S. President Donald Trump on his country's Independence Day, wishing the friendly American people more progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness also sent a similar congratulatory cable to U.S. Vice President Mike Pence on this national occasion. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today the Commander of the Joint Peninsula Shield Forces, the GPSF Major General Hassan bin Hamza Al Shahri, in the presence of the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi. The Commander-in-Chief lauded the tremendous efforts exerted by the GPSF to strengthen the common goal and destiny binding the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC countries, together. He pointed out that GPSF reflects GCC countries' common past present and future goals, stressing that the GPSF has become a bulwark against all challenges as it provides means of security and stability for the region. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Mr. Zaid bin Rashid Ziyani, the ISTAC event was launched today offering millions of Lego bricks worth of Lego sculptures, models and edutainment. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. Lego master builders and fans of Lego will come together for Bahrain's first Lego Stack event. The Stack event encourages creativity, provides educational content, and teaches simple activities, making it accessible to everyone. Bringing the whole family together is strengthening Bahrain's position as a regional player within the tourism sector. Of course, uh, Lego is one of the most uh, well-known brands in the world, and we were able to attract this exhibition. Uh, we, uh, we have already sold more than 3,000 tickets pre the opening. Uh, the event will go for five days. It's more of an educational event where the kids during summertime and during these holidays uh, have a chance to experience different games, different educational games. And also we have uh, made sure that they get to, to learn their culture and have more patriotism towards their country with building different monuments uh, pictures of the island uh, through Lego uh, games. Stack the Lego Fans event is the most unique Lego themed event in the Middle East and is a tool for construction, education, collaboration, art as well as fun, providing an interactive experience in a fun-filled atmosphere. It's really important I think uh, people when they come to Bahrain if we're talking about uh, tourism bringing people from outside I think having more events will will keep the tourist or the visitor in Bahrain longer, will ensure that uh, he spends more money, um, you know, have more things to do in Bahrain, rather than just, for example, go, just go to a, a mall or, or, or shopping or, or so on. So having more events uh, ensures that the, the tourist stays longer and has more to do here. 
The first ever event is a unique opportunity to engage with exciting content and caters for a wide audience in Bahrain as it appeals to young and old alike, positioning the kingdom as the center for family tourism across the region. Stack the event for all LEGO fans has made its way to Bahrain for the very first time and was a great success, offering multiple zones of a great LEGO experience. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.